Good morning to all my Nerf family out there. Welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. I am very excited to be back after my nine day vacation. So up today, it's all about the mods. The Nerf AWP Bolt Action Sniper Rifle Mod Kit Review and Installation. Stay tuned, everybody. everything that comes with the AWP kit keep in mind that this barrel does not come with it I actually placed a pretty large order back in November under my personal name because I wanted to see what the experience would be like as not getting free stuff from them like I currently do get so I placed an order on my own in November they split my package into two packages which if you guys would like to see a video on my experience ordering through light take personally um, click the card that's coming up in the upper right hand corner and let me know if you'd like to see that video made I really don't want to waste my time if you have no interest in seeing it but if you are thinking about ordering from light take and you'd like to see what my personal experience was hey man I'd be more than happy to make that video for you to either set your mind at ease or at least so you know what to expect so this barrel actually goes separately to another blaster that I'm currently working on these are the pieces that actually come and the hardware here. We took a brand new Elite Retaliator out of the box for this. I am not gonna do any spring modifications to it inside at all. I understand that once this thing is all put together based on watching a couple other videos that the power is just not there. And I don't really wanna put that much stress on the 3D priming parts. This is more of an aesthetic body kit that I wanna hang up on my display wall. So I'm gonna treat it as such. All right guys, so taking a closer look at the pieces of the kit, you can actually see the shine on the graininess of the texture but it's actually pretty smooth to the touch. It has a very nice weight to it, and all the paint is very clean and done nicely. This piece actually has a little bit of weight to it, as does the foregrip, and it actually looks really cool. You can see the same type of grainy texture, but it actually feels amazing in your hands. A couple pieces that did have slight imperfections was this piece right here, and in the barrel muzzle, you can actually see the little bit of frayed plastic, which is actually really easy to get rid of, so no complaints there. I'll just go ahead and set that down for the side. And in the scope, if you look down in the lower left-hand corner of it, you can actually see threading from the plastic, which actually didn't, I guess, finish, or it's actually residue. So no big deal. You can clean that out in a minute. This is actually a body kit, so who really cares? It's not really going to work anyway, but it's going to look amazing when this thing is together. I just want to take a second here and explain a couple of small issues that I did have. I think this hole was not screwed in, in the proper place. It should have been another quarter of an inch this way so that this original screw that was supposed to go in here would have went in between the little orange nub on the tactical rail to actually make this slide go back when you pull back on the bolt. Unfortunately, it didn't line up properly, so this did not provide enough tension down onto the slide to actually make that happen. So when I would pull back with the bolt, this would just slide right off of this part of the the priming mechanism. So in order to fix that, I took a spare screw I had that was quite longer. I took a drill bit and I drilled a little tiny hole through this part of the um, slide and then it went down, locked in, and now I don't have a problem with that. So now I have another spare piece. And then here in the back, if you'll notice, there was a screw that goes here and there's a screw that goes back in here. Now the screw that goes back in here actually has to go long enough to make past this little crack that you see here. And the screw that they provided didn't really do that well. So I actually replaced this with a spare screw that I had that was a lot longer. And then on top, this one I think was just too small. So when I put it in the hole, it actually just went all the way in and never tightened. So I took a battery door thumb screw from the Strife and I actually used that and it worked out perfect. So those are the two issues that I did have. Keep in mind that you can tell already, just from a stock spring, this part already snapped. So now that I put a longer screw in here, it's actually a lot better. This is not going to be a build that's actually going to be built for speed. There's a lot of parts here that need to be reinforced if you're really going to try to use this with an upgraded spring or to actually use it efficiently like in a battle because you really do need to be careful when you pull this back. There's a lot of tension that goes on this particular part and you could ruin it really quickly. So let's get back to putting this bad boy together.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line of this kit, in my opinion, is cosmetically, it is incredible. It makes the Retaliator look like an unbelievable sniper rifle. Keep in mind, I am going to come back in here and take care of these blue and make it more matching by hand painting at some point. Not, I didn't, I didn't have time to do it before this video since I literally had just gotten back off of a trip. But aesthetically, it looks great with the white magazines. It looks great with the orange magazines. And of course, if you throw in one of the black magazines, it's going to look just as fantastic. So as far as aesthetically goes, you are not going to find a nicer looking kit at this time as far as transforming your retaliator into a sniper rifle. Now, performance is a whole other issue. There's a lot of stress placed on this back bolt mechanism. A lot of times, if you're just pulling back, you see how it kind of bows this way and puts a ton of stress on this top part. So you're really going to need to reinforce this if you plan on using this in an actual war or playing around your home. If you pull on this too quick or too hard in the wrong way and not perfectly straight, you're going to damage this. And there's no way around that unless you reinforce it. Other than that, everything else is about this is really nice. I was a little disappointed that I had to kind of finagle different screws here because when you pay about $100 for a kit, you kind of expect everything to sort of match up. And in this case, it didn't. But the fixes were minor. They were just more tedious and kind of annoying because you're paying a lot of money for this actual kit. So I think if they would have tweaked this whole mechanism here and reinforced it a lot better, they could have made this kit better. But aesthetically, I love the way it looks. And for what I'm using it for, it's just a display piece in my Nerf arsenal. It really works for what I intended this to be. That's why I didn't do a spring upgrade. And that's why I left stock internals. The only thing I have left to do, like I said, is paint and I'm gonna be done with this. So I'm very pleased with this. I love the way it looks. It's huge, you saw in the size comparison. So just be prepared for it. But the pieces feel solid, they feel really nice. And overall, I really do like this kit. But keep in mind what I'm using it for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys on the next video and uh, good to be back. Bye guys.